lovelies. I'm going on an adventure because I am so depressed today. Like, whoa. Like, hit with a sledgehammer. And I've been shaking really bad and I don't know why. It's like, at this point, like, who cares? I can't, I don't have time to, like, figure out why my body is doing things, you know? Like, who has time for that when you're chronically ill? And, um, I finally edited a video for you guys. It was just, like, so emotionally draining and, like, also emotionally upsetting. But it's something I want to share with you guys, so I want to put it out there. And I hate doing things by myself. And I was so excited because I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm finally, like, awake in the morning. I haven't slept yet. And I can hang out with Monica because she is off. But Monica's at home. And I freaking talked to her like the whole way, whole ride home practically, but uh, I just completely forgot. So I was like, boom. And so I was like, maybe Alicia, but Alicia always has something planned. So I'm going by myself and I asked my parents if they had a grocery list. So it's going to be a very slow thing. Also, I have tried so many different shampoos because I've been so stubborn because I have my cosmetology license, so I can go to the, like, Cosmoproof, or whatever it's called here, like, the, um, professional store, and you get shampoo pretty much for half the price of what it is anywhere else. But freaking Aveda doesn't sell in those stores. They only sell in salons. And so I've been so stubborn, but it keeps my hair clean. Like, it really cleans my hair and it keeps it clean for like a couple days and I really need that and I've tried so many other things even expensive brand things and there it just doesn't work for me like it works for one day and it looks great and then I'm like look like a rat like a drowned rat so I'm just breaking down and getting it and I've wasted so much money instead of just going and sucking up and getting $21 shampoo but anyways, so I'm gonna like stop by a salon and just get that. And I wish I could get a haircut. I wish I could color my hair, but mm -hmm, not gonna happen because I can't upkeep with it. Um, and yeah, and then I'm gonna go to Walmart and I'm gonna try to remember to take you guys with me because I'm really lonely. So I'm gonna talk to you guys while I'm there. You guys are gonna be with me. And I don't care if people think I am a weirdo because I'm kind of dressed like a weirdo. So I told my mom, I was like, I don't even care. Like, I'll go in my pajamas to Walmart. I don't care. And she was like, Emily, you know you're not like that. And I was like, fine. I know I'm not. So I did like put jeans on and boots. But and it's like cold and miserable out. It's just like, it's a depressing day. And I feel weird. And I don't know what's going on, and so that's that. So you guys have to deal with my, like, angry depression. I don't really ever get, like, grumpy, like, grumpy depressed. I don't know if I, like, ever have been. But, yeah, I'm, like, grumpy depressed. So have fun with that today. I'll see you probably at Walmart. What? And also why. Why. They're party size as well. And my cart keeps going freaking to the left. Why? Why? I'm already angry. Look, look, cart is going to the left. And it'll just keep going to the left until I go in circles. Freaking nailed it! So my parents gave me a list and my dad was like, whoa, whoa. You know, you can look for this caffeinated green tea that's flavored, but you're never gonna find it. Bam! Green tea, decaffeinated, honey lemon, flavored. Take that, dad. Because I'm a good daughter and I asked my parents if they needed anything at Walmart. Because they do all of the shopping, all of the time. And I don't understand, my dad said that there's like, you can buy K-cups at Walmart. But I've never seen it, so... I'm still not seeing it, so I don't know what is going on here. Some sort of Walmart conspiracy, I am sure of it. There were people making out when I first walked in, so 
mood not improved. Literally one of the most complicated things of my life right now. I have a defective cart and it's so difficult. I think it's like real crazy here at Walmart. I think this is a good time to come. What is this? Coconut wave? And it's blue? It looks delicious. It looks actually it looks delicious for like alcoholic drinks probably. Probably on its own. It's like not so good. I'm just trying to find my freaking ginger ale. This is why I don't grocery shop. This is just the egg section. I need to pick out eggs. And this is just just the egg section. Like what the hell? What eggs do you want? Like is there a brand? Is there a type? Some are large, some are medium, some are like not even in cartons. Walmart grocery shopping has just gotten really like sad because I miss everything because I have a gluten allergy and I'm just like oh cereal look at all that cereal that I can't eat oh my lord there is a little kid screaming somewhere and I don't even know where she is she could be in the completely opposite end of the Walmart she's screaming so freaking loud I want to hold her and love her and soothe her because I'm trying to be more kind to people. I have never bought nor worn these like nail decals but I really love that and it costs like five dollars for them to do like a cross at the place so I'm thinking about getting them. What are these? How, what, how do you like these? Do they speak to you? Do they say something? Do they say, this is beautiful, Emily, you should buy them. I want like tribal type, like that. See that one right there? Can you see that one? It's like tribal, but it's not organized correctly. God, this is so much pressure. I don't know how I'm gonna get up. I always kneel down, because it's uncomfortable for me to lean over. But then, I'm down here. Let's see where I am. Okay, so I had a mini meltdown, had to put my hair up. And I have to go all the way back to the beginning because my dad called me to tell me that I need something from the very beginning of my shopping, which is fine because I love my dad. But I have found out that I'm an ambiturner. If you've seen Zoolander, you know what that is, but my cart wants to go left, and I only, only ever want to go right, ever, ever in my life. So I'm worn out. I'm also afraid of how much money I've spent, so that's usually a good time to get the hell out of Dodge. And we're done. And I'm exhausted. And I got some things for you guys. Some things I got rang up wrong. And I was just like, you know what? It's not meant to be. And the lady was like, I can ring it up again. I can do it again. I'm like, no, I can't do it again. I can't do it anymore. So I just spent a massive amount of money. I will not be spending any more money this month. Um, I'm a little terrified, actually, at how much money I spent. Um, I'm so bad I'm starving, so I'm going to pick up something to eat, which is so cheap, and that's why there's an obesity problem. Not with me in particular, but with people that don't have much money, because that's the cheapest choice for us. So, my girl. Alright guys, I am back home. I will do a haul for you guys, because I got a lot of everything but I was at Walmart for I'm not joking three and a half hours so I am beyond spent and I'm going to regret it but thus is life with chronic pain so I'm gonna sign off here I don't know why I just did that probably because I'm watching a war movie like military movie um I'm getting a nasty headache um yes I hope you guys are having a pain free, stress free day. I'm sending out X double O's. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.